Somebody tell me below who you think that is. I made a claim in the last video. I said, whoever controls your language controls your reality or whatever controls your language controls your reality. I was asked for an explanation. So I'm going to use this man as an example. This man right here, this man changed the entire world forever. And many of you are actually under this man's spell and you don't even know it. This man died long ago and he still controls your reality. He controls the, almost the entire world's reality. So before I tell you who this man is and how he put the entire world under a spell in order to keep the wealthy rich and the poor poor, er, <laughs> first I gotta break down to you what a spell is. Don't worry, it doesn't get woo-woo here. We're gonna get into the hard facts of the matter. So spell, spelling words. Now, we're not going to cover the definition of the word spell because definitions, as you know today, seem to change often. You have to go from the etymology of a word. So, the word spell actually comes from the word spell. S-P-E-L. And it originally meant storytelling. Right? It originally meant not only storytelling, but, and we're talking about spelling or spell of an enchantment, by the way. It meant gossip, gossip. It meant sermon. In fact, gospel was the good spell. That's what gospel means. So y'all don't even understand when you're being put under a spell. You're being put under a certain narrative, a story, using words to do so. So in other words, you're putting someone using words in a certain way, in a certain order, right? You can put someone under your story. That's what it means to be put under a spell, to be put under a story. This is what propaganda is. Brainwash. And they often rename things because words and language control your reality. So I can do things, right? If I can make you believe that something is fictional, even though it's a fact, by showing you a version of it in Hollywood, right? then you'll associate that with fiction and I'll get away with doing this thing to you. You'll have no idea that it's happening. Let me know if you want a video on gospel, the good tale, right? So the way it works is words and stories affect mentality, which can change the world. And often it does. That's why you see there's a battle for words and meanings today. Today, we're talking about the spell that keeps people divided, keeps humans separated, that makes humans fight one another, and makes humans truly believe there is more that separates us than brings us together. This spell is the race spell. It's a powerful spell, a powerful spell that many of you are under right now. You can't help it. And as I explain this to you, that spell will fights you back mentally on this because it wants to stay in control of your mind. Um, if you want me to go over the dinosaur spell, go ahead and comment below dino spell and I'll go ahead and cover that next. But I'll need at least like 50 comments saying that. Then I'll, I'll also cover that for you. So this man's name is William Berkeley. So you can look up what I'm saying about him to go and, and find out what I'm saying is true. William Berkeley was the governor of Virginia in, I believe, 1609. Um, don't quote me on that. I don't have it written down in my notes, but I believe it was 1609. Now, remember, this is prior to slavery. I, mean, I know a lot of y'all are starting to believe this insane new spell they're putting y'all under, which that enslavement of African peoples never happened in America. And my God, y'all really believe it. So if you want me to do a video on that, let me know, but this was prior. So you had African peoples over in the United States prior to um, slavery, right? And um, they were indentured workers and they could work off their time. They can get land, they could be free. And this is prior to um, a lot of the laws that led to, you know, African peoples being something or someone that could be owned by someone else. So William Berkeley was very wealthy and rich. And he was ruling over these, you know, these uh, developments in Virginia. And, and, but everybody was supposed to be equal. Remember, they're breaking apart. It's supposed to be new, but 
he kept giving land and privileges to the rich and the wealthy. And he wasn't treating the European and African workers correctly. He was really ripping them off. And, and at this time, it didn't matter. There was, oh God, I didn't even get there yet. But he was ripping them off. So what happened was a rebellion. He didn't act like a leader. So they got frustrated with him and they rebelled against him. You know, due to all the things that he would do. This terrified all the rich people. They got so scared, right? And so William Berkeley came up with something that changed the world forever. He said, you know what? We'll come up with something called whiteness. This is literally what happened. And we'll call the Europeans white. And we'll tell the European workers, hey, you're a part of this club called white with us. And we'll give you privileges based on you being white. I'm not here to discuss white privilege with y'all. I don't play politics. I do not in neither tribe, red or blue. I do not even care about that stuff. So if you want to debate about white, white privilege and stuff like that in the comments, you go ahead. But that is not what this video is about. You see, the matrix will change reality or create a false reality, but it will make that reality real based on consequences, right? And so using laws, he made this thing called white real, a separate category of people who are treated differently than other peoples, right? And this completely destroyed the revolution that was started by Nathaniel Bacon. We call this divide and conquer. You know, not only was it giving like, rights and, and, and privileges to your Europeans taken away from African peoples, but it was also keeping them separate. So a lot of you guys think that segregation was about like white people not liking black people. What was really going on is the wealthy didn't want them teaming up. So they made laws to keep them separate, to invoke this separate of white and black, things that are completely on the opposite ends of the spectrum. Even though my skin isn't black and your skin isn't white, we believe in this. We're under that spell. You see what I'm saying? Another example would be like Irish, Italians, Jewish people. None of these people were considered white. In fact, a lot of them were oppressed. Irish people by the British were considered naked chimpanzees. Um, Italians were um, hated and lynched. Um, and I don't know what I can go in about, you know, Jewish people on this platform. So, but we know the history. So, um, but in the 19, I believe, 70s or 60s, all that changed because they needed more power. The wealthier, the, the, the impoverished were coming together, and so they needed to break them up, so they called them white. So it works every time, this spell. See, they want to keep us disunified because the super wealthy are the agents of the matrix we live in. Remember, a matrix just means a medium or structure in which you develop in a womb. We live in the invert womb. You have the great mother, you have the devourer mother. The great mother is good. The devourer mother is bad. The devourer mother takes, takes, takes and doesn't give anything back. That's what civilization is. And we are going to escape this. You don't have to work a nine to five. You don't have to use mortgages. You don't have to create separations based on skin color and, and race. And none of you are black and none of you are white anyway. Really, all of y'all are just different shades of brown 